This is part two. We got cut off because of space. I'm going to continue with the video and then comment. In my strong opinion this whole thing is all part of the coming capital control war, which ties directly in with the coming transition to a biometric digital currency. The implementation of negative interest rates, the rollout of large-scale systemic bail-ins, and the demonization and eventual criminalization of physical assets that are outside of direct taxation control, which again would be done using the preconditioned guise of tax havens, with physical precious metals and physical cash being the main targets. Anyways, if you have any thoughts on this whole Panama Papers leak, the coming false flag trigger event, or the economy in general, feel free to share them in the comments below. So that's the video. Interesting commentary from this uh, Truth Now 88. I just happened to stumble across that video. Now I want to look at my latest pick here. This is going to be the monkey. And uh, I had isolated some monkeys earlier on Gainesville Coins. And uh, they're gone now. But the best buy for the half ounce monkey right now is over here at uh, JM Bullion. Interesting, you can pay Bitcoins for that, also PayPal. You can see that they have, uh, looks like 1792, so a decent amount. Now, the price on the two ounce is uh, just too high for me at, at $54. I actually think that the two ounce monkey is going to be probably one of the best coins that we've seen in a long time, just because uh, I have never seen it at a reasonable price. Uh, now that doesn't mean that uh, I mean there have been one ounce coins that are, are that meet the three hundred thousand allotment. I think the one ounce horse. Uh, I picked out the one ounce horse when it was thirty seven. I think we got. Uh, maybe 20 or 40 of those. It was still way too high. And so we didn't get many of those. But we did get a lot of the half ounce horses and a number of the two ounce horses. Now, I, I think that right now one of the best buys out there is this half ounce monkey. And I'm going to show you why I think that in light of the video that we just watched. So let me take you to this Atmex uh, ad for the half ounce uh, silver lunar horse and you can see they have one in quantity and they're asking fifty dollars for this coin now if you remember when I first saw this coin uh, there were some qualms about it uh, people had some issues but generally the consensus was and certainly my opinion was that this was one of the most phenomenal coins that we've ever seen out of the Perth Mint now I would always choose to have two coins for one coin. If I can get a one ounce coin for $24 and I can get two half ounce coins for $24, I will always pick the half ounce coin. But uh, if, you, if you go by this price here at $50, now this doesn't mean that you can sell to Atmex for $50 or anywhere near that. Uh, and In fact, Atmex never really has a buy price on these. But the question is, is could you make the argument to a government that is beginning to crack down and become uh, uh, persecutory towards the precious metals? Could you make the argument that this isn't a bullion coin? I think you could. Now, with silver at roughly $15 or $16 an ounce, a half ounce silver coin should be worth roughly eight dollars. Now, if you could arguably uh, make the proposition that this is a work of art that you're collecting, it's not a numismatic uh, issue. Although there are some very very rare coins that have extremely high prices, but uh, one could reasonably argue that at $50, and uh, you could probably use this as evidence that it's being sold at Atmex for this price, uh, although it's probably sold for a lot less on eBay, you could argue that this coin is an art piece. This isn't bullion, this isn't silver, this isn't anything but art. 
And uh, so there's another reason why these coins are so important to stack. Uh, I've covered the appreciation potential for these coins. And I think the fact that Atmex is asking 50 bucks for the half ounce horse, and that's just a 2014 issue, uh, speaks for itself. But uh, the added benefit that if this video is correct, that they're, they're setting the stage for some type of capital controls, and of course those will probably be external initially, but then they will be internal, as the, the author argues, that uh, there, there isn't enough money to go around. They're not going to get the money from the billionaires. They're, they're in the process of stigmatizing anybody outside of the system. Well, if you have a coin or let's say you had a painting or a work of art or uh, some obscure uh, valuable item, it's highly unlikely that that item is going to be included. And uh, I, I don't have the articles in front of me right now, but if you go back and look during the uh, period of time when they made it illegal to own gold in the United States during the Depression, I believe there were a number of exceptions to that. And uh, one of the exceptions was numismatic and collector issues. Now, there's no question that if this coin is really worth $50, and I believe we bought ours around 12 bucks. If this coin really is worth $50, if people are willing to pay $50 for this coin, then it's no longer even silver. It's uh, just a work of art, a collector's item, and that's just another reason why these coins are such a fantastic deal. Uh, the half ounce especially, with the half ounce goat being around $12, I just don't see how you can miss buying that coin. Now, I don't believe that the author of that uh, YouTube video is correct. I don't think it's going to come to that. But again, if it does come to that, then that's just another reason why stacking these lunar coins is probably the best thing you can possibly be doing. Uh, whether you're a resident of the United States or any of the Western countries, um, if the scenario that they're talking about comes true, if Bill Holder is correct, if the elites are exposed, if there's a massive crackdown, if there's uh, capital controls, if there's negative interest rates, if there's a uh, cashless society, any of these things, then being as far away from what they define as hoarding money uh, as possible is the best option for you. And we'll talk to you next time.